So the very first question is, why does keto work for so many people? And can you go beyond just the calories in versus calories out factor? Um, okay, yeah, no problem. So just to be clear, the only reason people lose weight on keto is because they're eating less calories, okay? Um, there's nothing special about keto. There's nothing about the keto diet that makes it any more effective than any other diet, but I can kind of give you some insight on the biochemistry of certain foods that help people reduce how much they overeat, all right? So that's kind of what we're going with this. So as you probably already know, or if you don't, keto prioritizes eating about a medium to small amount of protein, mostly fat and virtually no carbohydrates, maybe outside of things like broccoli and cauliflower and, and carbohydrates in the form of plants that don't really have a lot of carbs in them. So low carbohydrate vegetables specifically, not things like potatoes and rice and stuff like that, but you know, your broccoli, your Brussels sprouts, your green beans, um, everything like that. So the, one of the things that's really important to understand about protein and fat is they're very satiating, which means that you can eat a very small amount of them and feel full. Now with carbohydrates, and this isn't true for everyone, but for, for carbohydrates, um, that's not always the same case, okay? The other thing you have to know, or you have to realize a lot about the keto diet is it takes somebody from the diet they were eating, which was a ton of junk food, which is really easy to overeat, very easy. Like it's, it's not even a question on whether or not processed food, so junk food makes you overeat, it is a fact because it takes so many more units of calories to fill you up on, on a junk food diet because it's just sugar, it's just fat, it's just highly processed, easy to break down uh, uh, food components, right? Um, they've even shown through studies that when you eat junk food, it breaks down so fast that it gives you a very, gives your brain a very small amount of input telling it, hey, we've had some calories. So by just ways of volume, you have to eat a lot more junk food for your brain and your stomach to communicate with each other like, hey, we're full, all right? So that's just plain and simple. When you switch from a complete junk food diet or a mostly junk food diet to something even remotely healthier, um, you're going to get benefits from that, right? Because you're, consum cons you're making it considerably easier to eat less calories without feeling like you're eating less calories, right? What's the biggest complaint when dieting? Oh, I feel hungry all the time. It's like, well, you might be over restricting too much, right? Because you, you don't have to eat, like most people are, are eating tremendously less food on a diet, right? If you eat, like let's say you measure it a lot, you eat 2000 calories and they go on a diet and they only eat a thousand calories. That's a thousand calorie deficit. And if you're just looking at the math, you think math, you think, oh, that's awesome. But your body doesn't work just like a numbers in numbers out system. I mean, it, don't get me wrong, calories in versus calories out, calories out count. But to try to track all the ways calories come out, like if you're stressed, you probably burn more calories than you do if you don't, if you're not stressed, right? Um, there's lots of things going on. So protein and fat are much more filling than your typical junk food type foods. So people naturally eat less without feeling like they're eating less, which is why it works. Because if you constantly feel like you're not eating enough food, you're going to overeat, right? You're gonna be like, oh, I'm not eating enough. And so you go and you you know prioritize, uh, or you, you, you go off your plan because it's too dramatic or it's too much of a deficit or you're, you're going too much in one extreme direction. So keto allows people to eat, quote unquote, their favorite foods, foods like bacon and uh, you know cheese and all the things we've been told to stay away from for the most part. And it not only allows them, because keto is pretty extreme. Um, okay, now I'm losing connection. Facebook just doesn't want me to do a live video today, I guess. Anyway. Carrying on. So hope that answers your question about why keto works beyond just the calorie equation.